What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to go ahead and do a quick video on this rig which is actually labeled Juggernaut and as you can see here we have quite a few cards on this rig alone. 13 total. Uh, we are running the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus. And today what we're going to go ahead and talk about is not the GPUs for once. And I've been really interested in doing this. We're going to talk about this guy. So this is an Intel i5. And we're going to go ahead and get this set up in Hive OS so that we're not only mining Ethereum with these 13 cards, but we're also going to go ahead and mine Monero within Hive OS, and it takes honestly five minutes to set up. So let's go ahead and jump on the computer and let's take a look. So before we go ahead and jump into our video, this is not an advertisement, I promise. I don't know how many of you guys remember this shady site, Minergate. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse today. Go back like five years ago or seven years ago. I used to mine on Minergate <clears throat> Monero and I completely forgot about it. And I had a rack of about 20 HP towers that had like I3s in them. And we were mining Monero on this site. <clears throat> and I actually logged into this site more recently. It's god awful slow. It like, I feel like it runs on someone's basement computer. I don't recommend it. But uh, I had some Monero in there, so I transferred it off. So not sure if many of you guys remember Minergate. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to know if there's some old time Minergate miners out there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go over to our farm. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our farm and we're gonna check out our Juggernaut computer. This is the uh, one that is running the H110 Pro motherboard. We're m mining a variety of different cards on this board. 1060s, 1080s, 2060s, 1660 Ti's, 1070s, you know, a little bit of everything. So this one is running an Intel Core i5-7400. Not bad, 300 gigahertz. So we're gonna go ahead and use this for mining today. I don't know what you guys are using. It can't hurt to test it out. Just keep in mind if your CPU temps get too hot, you may need to swap out your cooler with something different or look at an uh, AIO uh, cooling option for your CPU. So I am super new to this. I literally just tested this ahead of this time before this video. So there's probably a ton of very knowledgeable individuals out there in the Monero, in the CPU mining space. I'd love for some of your comments and feedback in the comments below. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So we want to set up to mine on our CPU, not our GPU. So the first thing you need to do is come into your flight sheet. We're going to edit our existing flight sheet. We're going to add a miner and we're going to type in XMR which is for Monero. We're going to select a wallet. I already added my wallet information in there. And then you're gonna pick a pool. So I started to go through the pools here of ones that I knew of. I was like, oh, let's go with two Meyer. And I was like, oh, there isn't a, a North American pool. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and go over to Miner Pool Stats. And I'll put a link down below to this if you guys aren't familiar. This is what I recommend for a lot of the, um, when you're searching for pools out there. And the left hand side, it's going to show you the pools ranked from top to bottom based off a of network hash rate. So as you guys can see here, your highest is up here at trust pool, and then it kind of works its way down regarding total hash rate. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to use nanopool.org today because I really like the interface. And, and so it'll make it very easy for me to show it off to you guys. So I'm going to come back in here. We're going to select nanopool. And we're going to go ahead and do SSL and we're going to select East Coast and West Coast and hit apply. Now it's time for your miner. Now I recommend you test each of these. Some of these will work for your CPU. Some of them won't. Some will have better hash rate. Some will have lower hash rate. So test what works for you. I'm going to go ahead and select the, um, the one XMR stack and we're going to hit apply. 
So now we're going to give it a minute and it's going to go ahead and apply the XMR flight sheet. It'll take some time. Be patient. Go ahead and load up Hive Shell in the meantime. If you guys aren't familiar, come up top to remote access and go to Hive Shell. This is going to go ahead and give you a minor view of T Rex, of NB Miner, and in this case, our uh, XMR one. So I thought while we wait for that uh, flight sheet to update, we take a look at the current price of Monero. So Monero right now is going for $282.52. Taking a look over the year, it started the year out very, very low down as low as mid 70s uh taking a look at long term here monero has been around for a very long time so if you do a lot of deep dives into some of the cryptocurrency and looking for ones that aren't just a bubble that are coming and going that are actually here to stay monero has been around for a while i mean look 2014 sounds about right maybe 2015 when i was mining monero but look at this over a five-year period longer than that six year period it's done seven year period it's done pretty well imagine if you were mining it back here at 43 cents you know uh, it would be a huge home run so taking a look back over i'm going to refresh it looks like things are still loading we can start to see our different cores are coming in here and our i5 is currently at 42 degrees so it's not quite mining yet let's go ahead and load up hive shell and take a look at what's going on MOTD watch. And okay, so it looks like it's slowly still getting situated. Taking a look at each of these here. Okay, so it's still going to be a minute. So let's give it a minute and we'll circle back around. Okay, guys, so mistakes on the fly. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I went ahead and in my flight sheet, I actually tried out the XMR stack and it was getting an error. I tried out the XMR rig old and I was getting an error. So I ended up with the XMR rig new and that is working uh, much better now. So test out a few, especially with some of these older CPUs. So in my situation, we're now up and mining right now. We're at 56 degrees for our CPU temps. So we're looking great. I don't have any concerns there. You can see each of them is about 570 ish for the kilohash. So we're about 1.7 currently right now. Now keep in mind, GPU mining, CPU mining, two different planes entirely. And we are on nano pool. So the next thing to do is uh, we're done here. Hive OS is set. It's good to go. You just let it run. Jumping over to nano pool, we can go ahead and refresh over here and take a look and see uh, what we're doing. So we were currently mining XMR. You can see on our unconferred balance. Now you can see here, look, this is where I was mining. And then I shut it off in order to do the video. It should go back up here in just a minute. Um, and uh, so we'll give it some time. We're just kicked it back off. We got a balance here, our average hash rate. So we're looking pretty good right now. It does say that a minimum payout here is one XMR. So it's going to take some time. I haven't been doing this for more than like uh, not long at all. I mean, if you take a look at an hour, uh, it is a very small period of time that I've been that I've been mining uh, XMR Monero, honestly. But that's it. Quick, simple, and easy. It's just another line item on here. So I'm excited to do this. I'm actually going to go through each of my rigs and set this up. Now I may run into some snags and find that some CPU coolers aren't going to be good enough or some CPUs are just too minimal. There's a few of them I have in mind that are probably pretty low on the totem pole and won't do super well. Other than that, guys, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you are a CPU miner at heart and you have a boatload of knowledge, feel free to just dump it in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. Other than that, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.